In this video we're going to take a look at CCleaner. CCleaner is a free program you can download from the internet which will allow you to free up space on your computer. A lot of programs tend to dump a lot of files on your machine uh, like log files. Um, they tend to get left there and don't get removed. These files aren't needed so this program will actually remove it for you. Um, it's also good at um, helping with your privacy. Um, you can delete your Internet Explorer history uh, very easily with this program. Um, it's very useful indeed, so I recommend you download it and try it out. Uh, to download the program, you can click on the link in the description to my video um, to go to their official website and download from there. Um, or you can go to my website, which is uh, www.whiteclick.co.uk and click on useful software and download from there. Okay, so here we are at the installation wizard. We're just going to click on next and then we're going to click on install. Okay, so now where it says view release notes, if you untick that, we don't really want that to pop up. But we're going to leave the uh, tick box here, run C cleaner, um, because we want that to actually pop up in a minute. So we're just going to leave the uh, top one ticked. Click on finish. Okay, in this box it's asking if you want to keep your passwords. You may um, log into your email via Internet Explorer or any other web browser um, and you may have ticked the box to remember your password. Um, if you want to keep that, click on yes. If not, click on no. I'm going to click on yes. Okay, so now we're here we are at the program. Uh, you can scroll down the list here and you may notice a few are greyed out that's because we haven't got the full version um, but it, it doesn't really matter because we've got quite a lot here that we can clean up um, your temporary internet files um, which is uh, basically websites that are downloaded to your computer um, for quicker access and um, uh, the, it, these are like uh, left on your machine and uh, they can take up quite a lot of room you can delete your internet explorer history here um, there's many different things, your recently typed URLs, your website addresses, um, uh, there's lots of different options here. I usually click them all. You can click on applications and there's various applications here like Google Chrome. You can, uh, if, if you want to keep your history, untick this box. Um, and there's other different applications here um, depending on what you've installed. Okay, so when you're ready, click on analyze this button right here. I've already done it and it should come up with something like this over here and it will tell you how much space you can free up. And there's quite a lot there. When you actually want to uh, delete these files click on run. Run the cleaner and it will actually remove the files for you. And then just press OK. And that will go through the removal process. Okay, so now it says cleaning complete, so that's finished. The next option is the registry. Um, you can actually clean up your registry here. I usually keep them all ticked and go to scan for issues. And as you can see, it's found some issues here which uh, need sorting out. We'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, that's finished, so now we click on fix selected issues. It's recommended you do do a backup just in case. So click on yes to backup. And depending on where you want this backup file to be located, um, I'm leaving it in the documents folder. Um, just click on save. And it will come up with a box like this. If you click on fix all selected issues, it will go through the whole lot very quickly and then press close. Okay, so under tools, we've got uh, various options here. We've got uninstall, startup, file finder, system restore, and drive wiper. Under uninstall, you can actually remove programs from your machine just by clicking on it, pressing run uninstaller, and follow the on-screen instructions. Sometimes you may find that you have actually removed a program, but it's still listed in here. So you can actually click on it and press delete entry to actually force it to remove. Um, because sometimes they just get stuck in here and don't get removed properly. The next option is startup and here you can actually edit your startup programs. Um, you can actually delete them from uh, so they don't run at startup. Just click on the one you want and press disable or actually fully remove it by pressing delete. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you know what you're doing. 
there's file finder I won't go into that uh, system restore you can actually delete restore points if you wish okay now for the drive wiper option this bit here where it says wipe um, at the moment it's currently selected to free space only so that means um, only the free space and not your data will be deleted um, you can select entire drive that means all your data will be deleted um, so that's entirely up to you on that option on that one um, for security you can do a simple overwrite sometimes when you delete stuff they don't yeah, the people can still access your deleted data so you may want to do several passes and you can do up to 35 passes here um, that will make it very secure uh, and uh, make it very hard for people to access your deleted data once you've selected these two options tick the um, the box for the selected drive that you wish to delete and then press wipe and it will go through that okay thanks for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe and um, you can also check out my website which is www.whiteclick.co.uk you can click on video tutorials and uh, keep up to date with that uh, you can click on useful software and there's a uh, different software there you can download which is, might be useful to you thanks for watching